Alright, so today you're going to have your first audio narrated battle for the five of you that actually watch these. So this is actually one of my first online matches against another strange human ever. Up until now, I've known every human that I've played. So I have no idea who this Dark Temp guy is. One thing I do know is he is much higher rank than me. He has Imperial Infantry. Only three units, though. So that's all he has. He has his three unit. And his general, which is also pretty nicely upgraded. I, on the other hand, have a bunch of red bear and white bear with one chevron. I also have a unit of Yariki. And my own general. Who, by the way, is an awesome old man. So right off the bat, I see this thing, which increases your rate of fire, this building, if you capture it. So I run everybody I have right at it. The horses can't capture it, so that doesn't help me too much. But my infantry is making its way over. Meanwhile, he is being way too conservative and he's trying to maintain his line, so his troops are going very slowly. I think around this point he just kind of gives up on trying to capture it, so he's just moving up slowly. Meanwhile, my next to useless wooden cannons uh, are over here. They can't move, so they're pretty much stuck at the beginning. They'll take a few pot shots. But otherwise, it will be pretty ineffective. Yes, a whopping one kill. As you can see, these cannonballs do not explode. So his troops are finally starting to get within sight of mine, but looks like mine have a pretty good lead and I'm about to take the building. I briefly thought about taking this building too, which increases morale, but I knew I wouldn't be able to hold on to it. Basically, his units are probably so highly upgraded that they can take down any one of mine without a problem. You can also see that all this running has my troops pretty tired. So right now they're very tired, and I think by the time they get there, they're exhausted. Which, again, messes with my morale, and probably other things. Fast forward a bit while he sends his general over to take out my cannon. Actually, we'll watch that. That could be funny. This was probably also a lucky break for me because it gave me a chance to finish capturing the building and uh, just set up my lines while he was preoccupied taking out my cannon. Oh, that was disorienting. Damned lily-livered cowards! Your men are running, sir! So, once again, this guy plays really conservatively. He stops frequently to reform his lines. Meanwhile, I tried to set up a defensive perimeter, but then I realized I could probably make better use of my guys. 
So you can get a sense of the firing range. So I decided at this point two units could cover this gap. And then I decide I'll protect my left flank with this guy. And then I'll just use this unit of white bear to act as uh, backup here. So he could either come here to the left flank if that gets threatened or come up and reinforce the middle. I then move my Yari key over here, thinking that maybe they'll come in handy. The hope was he'd continue to keep he'd continue moving his troops up here and I'd be able to bring my Yari key around and hit them, but that did not happen. So here I see he was going to send his general after my Yari key, because he'd just be able to shoot at them and they wouldn't be able to do anything, so I pull them back and bring up my general to defend him. Enemy approaching. So at this point I've kind of changed the composition of my line a couple times. Just trying to make more use of the troops that I have. But at this point I'm not feeling too confident. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, their units would win. So if this unit got into a one-on-one -on -one fight with this one, this one would lose. So my last redeployment. I move this line here to watch the right flank, and here he is taking pot shots at my Yari. Which he gets away with. I was going to have my general shoot at him, but then he ran off, and then I forgot to tell my guys to pull back. So here they're going to get shot up a bit. Alright, so here things get really boring as we just kind of stare at each other, so I'm going to fast forward a bit. So it finally occurs to me I'll try and turn his flank with my cavalry. Or at the very least it'll make a decent distraction. Yeah, he's not idi an idiot, so he sees this and he starts to turn. The enemy. But that is just enemy. what I needed to move my guys up. He's no longer staring at me, so I can move into range and get some shots off. And these guys on the left can move on to bigger and better things. At this point he kind of panics and starts to move in all his troops. Sir. Wavering already, 30 deaths. Meanwhile, we have gun fights over here. But they're firing into the flank, so these guys probably aren't going to do very well. Likewise, I'm not sure what... I guess he was probably trying to get two units firing onto this middle unit, but now he's getting shot up in the flank as well. Uh, 
So my left is now completely clear. Middle is clear. All he has left is this unit, which really isn't going to last much longer. And I start Your victory is close, moving sir. everybody up, and he eventually retreats. The end.